Welcome back to Yankees Hot Stove. I'm Meredith Morakovic alongside Adam Adovino. Adam, the 2020 season was odd for a variety of reasons, but you really were able to tell the story through a different lens. Why was it important to you to go behind the scenes and really capture all those images of what the 2020 season was? Well, I mean, I felt like I was probably going to take photographs either way, but um, early on, I kind of realized that there was no team photographer allowed in certain areas, so I might as well um, document as much as I can and see if anything comes of it. So uh, just try to do that. I'm glad I got put out there and people got to see a little bit of behind the scenes. Were the guys receptive when you were walking around with your camera taking photos? Yeah, for the most part. I mean... They know I would never put make anybody look bad, so uh, everybody's cool with it. And um, you know, I just kind of blend in. I'm pretty good at blending in. Do you have a favorite of the pictures that you took throughout the season? Um, not really. Uh, I don't think I got that one shot. I mean, some of them early on I thought could have been it, but then like the mask wearing got so normalized by the end of the season that maybe the picture wasn't as unique as I thought it was when I was taking it. So. Some of the stuff kind of shifted over time, but uh, I thought overall um, it was okay. Did any of your teammates reach out to you after that article was published? Yeah, I got some texts and things like that. Just, you know, nice job. That was cool, stuff like that. But uh, not a huge, not a huge response, but overall, uh, you know, nothing but positivity. When you look back at last season, how do you evaluate your performance? Um, you know, I've said this a few times. I just, I felt like, um, it wasn't good enough. Obviously. Um, I didn't, uh, wasn't consistent. I didn't, uh, I didn't induce the weak contact that I usually do. I felt like I kind of ran out of time there, you know, uh, started to get going there towards the end. Um, I liked the way I was throwing it headed into the playoffs, but I kind of ran out of time and, um, you know, hopefully have a little more time this year. What adjustments do you make and what made you say you finally were feeling good about the way you were throwing the ball heading into the postseason? Well, um, in my last seven or eight games, I think I only had one walk and I had a bunch of strikeouts. Uh, so it was a little more indicative of the way I usually throw the ball. Um, still giving up some hits, but I felt like a lot of it was just kind of poor pitch selection on my, on my part. So there's pretty easy adjustments to make from that standpoint, you know, just kind of think through it a little better and make some better choices. But I'd like the way I was throwing it at that point. So, um, you know, like I said, I wish I would have had a few more months there to kind of get rolling and stay rolling. But, uh, you know, kind of is what it is. You've always been a guy that's been in on the analytics side. What was it like working with Matt Blake throughout the course of this season? I thought he did a good job, you know, especially for his first year. Um, you know, it's a tough, tough transition. You know, he's never been an actual pitching coach. He did a lot of player development type stuff. And then all of a sudden he's with us in the dugout, you know, the Yankees. So, um, but I thought he handled it really well. He's really easy to communicate with. Uh, we went over a lot of things. We're still going over a lot of things. And he's got a wealth of knowledge. Just try to draw from that and, um, you know, use him as a resource. What's your number one goal this offseason in preparing for that 2021 season? Uh, I don't know. If I can narrow it down to just one thing, but obviously I want to come into the year, you know, in a good spot, uh, mentally, physically, uh, prepared, pitch the whole season and uh, pitch the way I normally do. And um, I guess the overall goal is just to perform really well in the playoffs next year and, uh, you know, get us where we want to go. You mentioned the playoffs the year before that. You had a couple of hiccups last year. Uh, didn't really have that much of an opportunity. Why do you think the playoffs specifically have been a little bit of an issue for you? Um, I think I think it's not the playoffs so much. It's just the circumstances. Um, the first time around I was ever in the playoffs was in 18 with the Rockies, and I thought I threw pretty well um, in those in those playoffs. Ended up getting clipped for a run here or there, but I thought overall I was fine. And then, you know, in 19, I just thought, um, you know, the role I was in against uh, Minnesota was kind of limited. I was in and out of the game pretty quickly. And then, uh, to be honest, I tip my cap a lot to the Astros. I thought. I thought they had a great approach against me and made me have to go back to the drawing board a little bit after that. Um, this past year, you know, I didn't really get any opportunity. I pitched in one game. Um, so, you know, that kind of is what it is. But um, honestly, like, uh, I love the playoffs. Really looking forward to getting uh, more opportunities there. What excites you most about 2021 and that upcoming season? You know, I think what's exciting is just that it's not this 2020 season anymore, and hopefully it can be a little more normal. We'll get some people back in the ballpark. We'll play a lot more games, and uh, hopefully our team 
you know, can let its strengths kind of play out and shine and we can get on a roll headed into the playoffs the way that we need to, you know, to bring home that trophy is, is really what we want. And I feel like it's kind of something that we've been on a mission for this group for a while. And uh, 2021 sounds pretty good to me. How much conversation is there between teammates now in the offseason saying we can't do another 2020? We are looking forward to the normalcy and in thinking about what the team could potentially be. Yeah, that, that happens now, but I mean, not even just now. I mean, even during the last season, I, I don't think anybody had quite the same level of fun as we had in previous years. It just wasn't the same. Um, obviously, we were trying to trying to win it and trying to make the most of it. And, you know, it's a, still a great job to have. But I thought um, even going through that, we really wish that it was more normal and it was more kind of what we all dreamed of as being Yankees, you know, the whole experience, the fans and you know, just uh, the feeling that's in the ballpark day in and day out, that sort of thing. Holiday season. I have to ask you, what do the holidays look like in the Adovino household? They look good. We do Hanukkah and Christmas. So uh, we had, we had, we did Hanukkah already. That was great. The girls love that. And now we're gearing up for Christmas. Uh, a lot of decorations, a lot of art projects, that sort of thing. So just a lot of family time. And um, you know, it's a great time of the year for that stuff. Well, I'll let you enjoy that family time. Adam, as always, thank you so much for the time. All right. Thanks a lot.